Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we're going to be doing a little division. I'm going to give you about five problems to work with. Oh, thank you very much. Hey, before we start, I got a question for you. What do you call a horse that lives next door? A neighbor. Oh, okay, okay, I'll stick to the math here. Hey, I want to uh, send out a special shout out to some uh, friend out there. I think his name is Omar. He is from Syria. And I'd sure love to hear about where you are from and if you have a special math problem you would like me to work on. So uh, go ahead and leave that in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button. And let's begin with the show. Uh, first of all, we have a three-digit number right here divided by a one-digit number. This is the dividend and this is the divisor. And our answer is going to be called a quotient. All right, so let's begin. First of all, can I take this number and put it into this number? No, you can't. You can't put three into one. So then I need to go to the next set of numbers right here. I need to kind of put the three into the 16. So how many times do, can I put three into 16? And that is where your multiplication facts come in hand. So let's start with a high number. Three times four is 12. Three times five is 15. Three times six is 18. Too high. Let's leave it at three times five. All right, so let's go ahead and put the five right here. I'm dealing with this number right here, so that's why I'm putting the 5 right there. So 5 times 3 equals 15. So I'll put the 15 right here. And then we use subtraction. All right, so let's go ahead and subtract. 6 minus 5, 1. All right, we'll put 1 right there. And of course, 1 minus 1 is 0. Zip, nothing, nada. And then we go next door. Hey. The number next door, drop it down, drop it down. <laughs> Goes all the way down right here. And now we're dealing with 18. So we start the whole process over with division. How many times can I put three into 18? Remember I already told you, three times six, 18. So I put the six right here. Six times three equals 18 with a remainder of zero. Do not have to put that remainder up there. No, you don't. So this is our answer, 56. Ready to do another one? Yeah, let's do it, yeah. All right, welcome back. Whoa, all right, don't worry. I know it's a gigantic number, but take it easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy, yeah. All right, so can I put eight into three? No, you can't. Can I put eight into 33? Yep, all right, how many times? Got to use that multiplication. Uh, let's start with 5. 5 times 8 is 40. Whoa, too big. Drop it down. 8 times 4, 32. Put the 4 right here. Put the 4. 4 times 8, 32. Subtracted. 3 minus 2, 1. I wonder how they say 1 in uh, Syria. I would love to know. I, I don't know a lot of Arabic. All I know is Ismi, Mr. Jeff. I think Ismi is I am. So I got to learn some more Arabic. Uh, three minus two is one. And uh, I, I, I lost my train of thought. Okay, uh, now I got to bring the other number down. So I'm going to bring six right here. I'm starting to think, well, what are the languages? I would love to learn other languages. Um, how many times can I put eight into 16? Two. 8 times 2, 16. So we put the 2 right here. 2 times 8 is 16 with a remainder of 0. Don't need to put that 0 in there. Hey, ready to do another one? Yeah, let's do it. Hey, welcome back. Hey, you know at any time you can pause the video and just hit play, you know, get a chance to work on it yourself and then check the answer. So if you want to go ahead and pause that video, you can go ahead and do it right now. All right, welcome back. Okay, we have 264 divided by 6. What is that? All right, what is that? This is the divisor, this is the dividend, and what's the answer? Remember that? The quotient. All right, can we put 6 into 2? No, you can't. You can try to push it in there, it's not going to work out. So we have to deal with 26. And remember, our answer is going to go right there. So 6 times what equals 26? 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 5 is 30. Whoa! 6 times 4. Yeah. 6 times 4. Don't go out the door, number 4. 4 times 6, 24. And we're going to use subtraction. 6 minus 4, 2. Uno dos. A little Spanish out there. So we put 2 right here. 
drop that next number down. Drop it down. If you want to do a little beatboxing, you can do that. <laughs> drop it down. Drop it down. Drop the four down. Uh -huh. Drop the four down. Why doesn't he just stop singing and just get on with the math? I don't know. Hey, we got to be excited about math. Yes, we do. All right, six. Now we have 24, all right? I got beatboxing. I forgot where I was doing here. Uh, how many times can I put six into 24? Four times, all right, four times. Six times four is 24. Yeah, we did that before, remember, right here? Four times six, 24, with a remainder of zero, zip, nothing. Put a little smiley face there if you want to. Hey, hey yeah, ready to do another one? Yeah, let's do it, yeah. All right, welcome back. Hey, remember in the beginning of the show I told you that little horse joke? I got another joke for you. Uh, what part of the horse has the most hair? On the outside. <laughs> Get it on the outside. All right, back to the math problems here. Okay, how many times can I put nine into two? Can't do it. Sorry, ma'am, you just can't do it. How many times can I put nine into 29? Well, let me see here. Nine times two is 18. Nine times three is 27. I'm going to stick with nine times three. All right, so we're going to put three right here. I have no idea why I was talking with a cowboy voice. Hey, partner, let's do it. three times nine is 27 all right here. We'll put 27 right there. Okay, okay. A little subtraction. Nine minus seven. Oh, what is it, Buckaroo? Nine minus two. Nine minus seven is two. Two minus two, zero, zip. All right. Uh, what do we have to do? I, I just, what do we have to do? We gotta bring that next number down. <laughs> right there. Now we go ahead. How many times can I put nine into 27? That's one of those nine facts, remember? Nine times three equals 27. 33. Put the 27 here with a remainder of zero. Can you believe it? We got one more problem to do. Ready to do it? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right, welcome back. Okay. Now, we know we can't put seven into the three, all right? We've been doing a lot of practice here. We have to put seven into 36. Seven times seven, 49, too high, bring it down. Seven times six, 42, too high. Seven times five, 35, we'll, we'll stay right there. I think that sounds good. We'll hit the jackpot right there. Seven times five, five times seven, 35, subtract it. Six minus five, one. Put the one right there. Drop that next number down. Boom, drop it down. Boom. Right here, Palumi. 15, how many times can I put seven into 15? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I tricked you there, didn't I? Seven only goes into 15 two times. Two times seven equals 14. So what we're gonna put right here, two times seven equals 14. Oh, I got you on that one. There's a remainder. We're gonna put a one right there and our remainder is one. I, I knew you could handle it. I knew you could handle it. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. I hope you had a good time working along with me. I got a lot of other, lot of other cool math videos that go into more detail on division, multiplication, whatever. Check it out. If you hit that likey button, I'd sure appreciate it. If you leave a comment down below, tell me where you are, where you live, maybe uh, what grade you're in, and what kind of problems you like to learn about, put it right there. Even if you tell me about your favorite kind of cookie or your cake, I just love to hear about all kinds of details about my viewers. And I would sure appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. It helps me out. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show. I hope you have a great day. Make sure you're smiling out there. We'll talk to you later. Adios.